So, at the upcoming Glowtime event on September 9th, Apple will reveal the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Pro with a strong emphasis on generative AI. However, Apple might take a more cautious approach to AI, despite the tech industry's rapid adoption of AI-driven features. Google has already labeled its Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro as the first AI smartphones, driving the industry toward content creation and other generative AI capability. Apple, on the other hand, could opt for a more measured strategy. Apple has a history of adopting emerging technologies later than its competitors, but with a unique twist. For example, the company was slow to embrace augmented reality, wireless charging, and even basic text editing function. When Apple does introduce these features, they are often branded uniquely, like air power or spatial video, positioning them as innovations only Apple can deliver. Generative AI might follow a similar path under the brand name Apple Intelligence. While there is considerable excitement about Apple's AI plans, the company's approach may not be groundbreaking. The AI features expected in the iPhone 16 lineup, such as text rewriting, content summarization, media generation, are similar to those seen on Android devices, particularly in Google's offering. While Apple's implementation might be more refined, it will largely mirror what competitors have already introduced. However, the rapid rise of generative AI also brings risks, especially as it becomes more accessible through smartphones. Research has already highlighted the potential for misuse, as seen in a study from Google DeepMind, which explores how AI-generated content can be manipulated for harmful purposes. Tools like Google's Reimagine feature, which can add unsettling elements to photos, demonstrate the potential for malicious use of generative AI. In contrast, other AI applications, such as machine learning, are more established and less controversial. Machine learning is crucial to many of iOS's core features, including face ID, photo enhancements, smart calendar suggestions, and predictive text, all of which maintain user privacy by processing data locally on the device. Given its commitment to user safety and privacy, Apple might be in a unique position to challenge the rapid adoption of generative AI by taking a cautious approach and potentially limiting generative AI in the iPhone 16 series, Apple could prompt the industry to rethink the implications of this technology before it becomes fully entrenched. This approach could allow Apple to redefine AI as a tool for assistive technologies with clear, defined functions rather than diving into the speculative and potentially risky realm of generative AI. So, what do you guys think about the upcoming iPhone 16 series? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and as always, I will see you guys in my next video.